Well, welcome to the Oracle 2019 commissioning presentation. Try to stay awake. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to ask questions at the end. We commission in excess of 300 projects per year of all different sizes and complexities. We commission jobs like this. 61,000 all-seater stadium in North London. Five-storey residential block in Westminster. A ten-storey commercial building in the West End of London. Seven-level shaft system in Great Ormond Street Hospital. Regardless of the size of the job, principles and sequence are important and largely remain the same. So what's involved in commissioning? And where do we start? And I'm not talking about the, the early starts. The late nights. Council trains. Well, we always start with a plan. We plan the documents, we plan the durations. We plan the most suitable people with the right skills. The plan tells us what we need in place to complete the commissioning and what the sequence is. We separate commissioning into three stages. We call these three stages SAT 1, testing and inspecting. SAT 2, functionality of equipment. And SAT 3, cause and effect and performance. It's important that each stage follows on from the one before. We can't really power up until the testing's been successfully completed. And we can't carry out cause and effect testing until we know everything operates. We need a building to be complete before we can confirm any of the system performance. Well, now we have a plan, we need everyone to read that plan, and this will almost certainly involve the site induction. We'll run through the safety do's and don'ts. We then need to familiarise ourselves with the installation and get to know it. The best introduction to an installation will be a site familiarisation day with the installers. We need to satisfy ourselves, it's safe to turn power on. This involves carrying out an inspection of the completed installation and reviewing the dead test results to complete the first stage of commissioning, SAT 1. SAT 2, operation of equipment or functional testing. Once we put power on, we can really start to see things come to life, like vents starting, ventilators opening, dampers opening, system running. SAT 2 is the operation of equipment. This is the stage where we check each component part is operating as it's intended to do. Fire activation, south core, ground floor. Fire condition, duty fan, running. SAT 3, cause and effect and performance. One of the things we'll be trying to establish during uh, SAT 3 stage is the operation of the ATS. This is what we're doing at the moment. One of the conditions we set on the uh, work plan um, as a prerequisite is that the building should be substantially complete. This is typically what we find on a, on a job that we're commissioning. Lots of trades, lots of movement of people. Indication on coal OBB panel. One. Right, level one, override active. Come on. Right, level one, reset. Level 2 MES, fire override activation.
South Wales. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.